My beloved child, I want you to receive my words with a sense of calm and peace. Don't let anxiety or worry overtake you. Just breathe in and out, allowing my message to settle into your spirit. I will speak to you the things you need to hear so you can put them into practice in your life. You have many different roles and responsibilities that I've called you to fulfill. I've asked you to love others, to be a loyal friend, to stand up for what's right, and to exercise wisdom and discernment. Walking closely with me requires being equipped to handle all sorts of situations. In past seasons, I have prepared and empowered you for the work I've placed before you, tailoring your abilities and strengths to the places I've positioned you to serve. But now, you are in a time of transition. I am ushering you into the fullness of your calling and destiny. The purpose and ministry I have for you is taking shape. You are growing in the spiritual gifts I've given you, tools that will help you in your work, with your family, and in your personal growth as you learn to recognize my voice more clearly. Don't doubt your ability to hear me speaking to you. You belong to me and I will always communicate with you. Remember what I said, my sheep listen to my voice, they will never follow a stranger. I am fighting on your behalf against those who oppose you. I have opened doors for you that no one can shut, and I have closed doors that no one can open. Have confidence in my presence within you. Haven't I told you that the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world? You are more than a conqueror through my love. Put on the mind of Christ that I've given you. Let my thoughts, purposes, and intentions fill your heart and guide your steps. As my word says, become all things to all people so that you can reach them with my love and truth. Be bold and unashamed of who you are in me. Find your voice and speak up for the things I've placed in your heart. I need you to rise up and step out in faith, proclaiming the message I've entrusted to you. You can feel my spirit stirring within you, energizing you and preparing you for the challenges ahead. You may not feel fully ready, but when you take that step of obedience, whether it's leaving a bad relationship, seeking a new challenge, or following my leading in any area of your life, trust that I will equip you as you go. This is a season of advancement and promotion, but it's also a time of further training and preparation. I am transitioning you and teaching you new skills for the next level of responsibility and influence I'm calling you to. You're going to fulfill your current assignments while simultaneously being trained for the next stage of your journey. I'm elevating you to places you haven't even imagined yet. As my word says, your eyes haven't seen, your ears haven't heard, and your heart hasn't conceived all the amazing things I have in store for you because you love me. As you abide in my presence, you are safe and secure, protected from every enemy and threat. I am your rock, your refuge, your stronghold, and your deliverer. Even if thousands fall around you, you will remain standing, watching as the wicked receive the consequences of their actions. No matter what challenges you face, stay focused on me. The path ahead may be intense and require great perseverance. At times, the situations you encounter may seem petty, trivial, or frustratingly detailed. But if you hold fast to me and press through the fear and confusion, I will give you the revelation and understanding you need. I'm opening your spiritual eyes and ears so you can perceive things you couldn't before. The spirit of wisdom and revelation is being poured out on you even now as you hear these words. I'm setting you free from spiritual deafness and blindness, so you can see your circumstances with greater clarity and insight. Just as I promised, in these last days I am pouring out my spirit on all people. You will see visions and dream dreams as my spirit fills you with holy fire. Whether you feel timid or confident, step out in obedience to my leading. 
I will guide your every step and direct your path. Commit your ways to me, and I will cause you to succeed in all you do. I have created you and established you for such a time as this. Rise up and soar like the eagle I've called you to be. I know you long for a community of like-minded believers where you can find support and belonging. Trust that I am leading you to the right people and places where your gifts can flourish. Your abilities and calling are far greater than you realize. I have shaped you into a powerful weapon for my purposes, and I prepared you to make a significant impact in this hour. Don't say you're too young, too old, or too inexperienced to make a difference. Don't make excuses about your ability to communicate. I will give you the words to speak and the boldness to proclaim my truth. I will empower you to advance my kingdom and push back the darkness in the world around you. As you navigate this new season, remember that my love for you is unchanging and unconditional. I am with you every step of the way, guiding, strengthening, and encouraging you. Lean into my presence, listen for my voice, and follow my lead. I have amazing plans in store for you, and I can't wait to see all you will accomplish. My dear child, I want you to reflect on who I am. Remember when I asked Job, who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? It was I who formed you and prepared everything around you. I created the worlds that surround you. If there is sin in your life, stand up and repent. Godly sorrow leads to repentance. Right now I am calling out to you with my goodness. I am drawing you closer to me. You cannot come to the Father unless my spirit beckons you, and I am calling your name, inviting you to come to me. When you have no money, come and drink. When you are hungry, come and eat the bread I provide. The way I am speaking to you today is opening your spiritual eyes and ears, allowing you to perceive things in the spiritual realm that you have never seen before. I am gathering my eagles, and I will use you to soar to great heights but you will also be able to swoop down and grab everything I need you to gather, bringing it back into my kingdom. Do not think of yourself as strange or odd. You are part of a special people, a chosen generation. You are called to shine forth my glorious light and bring glory to my name. Remember when I healed the man who was born blind? People asked if it was because of his own sin or the sin of his parents, but I said it was not because of anyone's sin, but so that the glory of God could be revealed through him. The same is true for you. The sickness and struggles you are facing are not your battles to fight. They have already been won because the battle belongs to me. I have positioned you and placed you in this specific time for a reason. Learn, grow, and push past your fears and inability to comprehend. Present yourself as holy and consecrated to me, set apart to do what I have called you to do. This is a season where you need to step forth into all that I have prepared for you. Do not be afraid or dismayed. What can anyone do to you? What can you even do to yourself? Just say yes to me, and watch what I will do in and through you. This is a word of instruction. If you want to see the fulfillment of my promises and the manifestation of my plans, remember that I am more excited than you are to bring you into my purposes. This is my will, my people, and my kingdom that I am establishing on earth as it is in heaven, and I will use you to be a part of that, to bring in the lost sheep and gather the harvest. In this season, you are being discipled. It is not enough to simply hear my word, you must apply it to see results. This is the essence of wisdom. For months now, I have been positioning you and preparing you to be ready as soon as the gate opens. Are you ready? Prepare yourself for where I am taking you. Remember that whenever you receive a prophetic word, the enemy will try to snatch it away. A good sign that a prophetic word is true is when things seem to get worse or more challenging after you hear it. This means that the word will come to pass in your life, but you must work it out and stand firm. I send my prophets into the earth to speak forth my commands. 
They decree and declare what is meant for you, and it is being established. But I am also grounding your feet, making you stable and solid. Like a warrior, you can move around and strike the enemy, but you must have your feet on solid ground. In the next few months, prepare yourself. Get your mind and body healthy. Resist negativity. And remember that the words you speak have the power of life and death. You were created in my image, and just as when I speak it is, so too when you speak it is. Put a guard over your mouth, lest you sin against me, curse yourself, or speak against your situation. I am here, speaking my living word to you, and it is going out into you and the atmosphere. But remember, without faith, it is impossible to please me. This is a season where you need to push forward in faith. Like Abraham, speaking of things that are not as though they were. Prepare and make plans, even when you don't see the full picture. Just as the Apostle Paul, while in prison, told his friends to prepare a room for him, not knowing when he would be released, your faith must be strong. Speak out your desires, knowing that you hear from me. This is a season where I am opening your eyes, ears, and inclining your heart to me. You will hear me clearly, for you are my sheep, and you follow me. I will commune with you and speak with clarity, and you will hear me with a confidence like never before. My precious child, the worries and fears that consume your mind will fade away. I am unleashing my purifying fire to burn away everything that is weighing you down. I am fighting against all that fights against you. Rivers of life-giving water flow from my well spring directly to you. These rivers are cleansing, purging, and purifying you from the inside out, preparing you for what's to come. I know your current situation looks nothing like what I am telling you. It appears to contradict the vision I've placed in your heart, but I work through these contrasts and opposites. I use the challenges and hardships to shape you and teach you valuable lessons. You have been wandering through a wilderness season, hidden away in a cave. But I have been there with you every step, equipping you and readying you for your training. And now, you have crossed a threshold into a new season at the precise time I ordained. It is time to begin honing your gifts, to uncover and pursue your true calling and purpose. What makes you come alive? What could you talk about for hours with passion and ease? Align yourself with those things. Focus your mind, develop your talents, cultivate the fruit of your spirit. I will keep reminding you of this because of my great love for you, my child. I have called you for this exact moment in history. The time is now. I need you to shine my light into every area of society. Rise up fast and pray. Whether it's for a few seconds, minutes, or an hour, just pray. If I've called you to intercede, then intercede. If I've called you to share my word, then share it with boldness, knowing it will not return empty, but will accomplish all I intend. You are entering a season of results, where I am accelerating decades of searching and preparation into mere days and months. I am commissioning you this very day. You may feel unqualified and afraid like Gideon, unsure of what to do. But know that I have armies of support surrounding you in prayer. I have heard every prayer, even the ones you couldn't verbalize. I see how heavy your spirit feels, how you're struggling to break free like a chick pecking its way out of an egg. One push, punch, and word at a time. Don't get caught up in formulas. Just sit with me in the quiet and commune with me. Take the bread and cup, remembering my sacrifice for you as you eat and drink. Repent and turn from sin with genuine sorrow. Keep sharing in this remembrance until I return, because I am coming back for you. But I still have important work for you to carry out. My purposes are still unfolding and I'm not finished with you yet. In fact, things are just starting to get good, so don't fixate on your outward circumstances. This is an opportunity for your faith to soar. I've called you to be a soldier in my spiritual army, positioned in my kingdom for such a time as this. You're getting your bounce back, 
shaking off the heavy chains and strongholds that have weighed you down. I've been breaking them off you for months now, doing deep healing in your soul, setting the stage for the deliverance that is coming. Get ready for my salvation to wash over you. Pray, fast, seek my face. Listen for my still small voice speaking divine revelation to you. I'm enabling you to peer into the spiritual realm, glimpsing things to come and how to redeem your past to propel you into your destiny. This is a serious word, not something trite. Take it to heart and walk in my wisdom, which is not just knowing the right things, but knowing the right actions to take. I have made you battle ready, fully equipped for the front lines. I've called you to engage in intense spiritual warfare. You have the weapons you need. The enemy has tried relentlessly to silence your voice through trauma, anxiety, lack, poverty, and loss. But today I declare those chains are broken. You're feeling my holy fire, my soothing, love-saturated presence enveloping you. That's my manifest glory, my Holy Spirit and angels coming to strengthen and aid you. Keep showing up, crying out to me again and again. Keep fighting, because I am setting you free. I declare the Spirit of the Lord is upon you, anointing you to proclaim my good news. Call forth those things that are not yet as if they already are. Speak with faith-filled confidence, knowing who your God is and who you are in me. When you generously plant seeds of kindness, love, and service in people's lives, you activate a spiritual principle of multiplication. Just as a farmer scatters seeds in a field expecting a bountiful harvest, your acts of giving set in motion, a chain reaction of blessings that will come back to you pressed down, shaken together, and running over. I have designed the universe to operate on this law of sowing and reaping. Whatever you sow, you will inevitably reap. When you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. But when you sow bountifully, you will reap a bountiful harvest. This principle applies not only to financial giving, but to every area of your life. Your time, talents, wisdom, encouragement, and acts of love. As you step out in faith and start sowing into the lives of those around you, I will multiply your seed. I will cause it to grow and bear fruit in ways you cannot even imagine. Your small acts of obedience and generosity will ripple out and touch more lives than you realize. Sometimes the soil you plant in may seem dry, hard, and unreceptive. The people you pour into may not appreciate or reciprocate your kindness. But I am the Lord of the harvest. I watch over your seed and I will cause it to take root and flourish at the proper time. Trust my timing and my faithfulness. Even as you focus on blessing others, I have not forgotten about you and your needs. I see every seed you have sown, often in secret when no one was watching. I have recorded every selfless act and every sacrifice. And in my perfect timing, I will cause you to reap a rich reward. I am the God of restoration and abundance. I love to take what the enemy meant for harm and turn it around for your good. I delight in blessing my children with double portions. So as you face trials and suffer loss for my name's sake, rejoice. I will not just restore what was stolen, but I will pay you back double for your trouble. Just as I gave Job double for his trouble after a season of intense suffering, I will do the same for you. Trust that your time of fruitfulness and favor is on the horizon. What you have sown in tears, you will reap with shouts of joy. The enemy's attacks are simply setting the stage for me to showcase my goodness and lavish my blessings upon you. In the meantime, don't grow weary in well-doing. Keep planting seeds even when you don't see results. Your labor is not in vain, your giving is not going unnoticed. I am storing up treasure for you in heaven where no moth or rust can destroy. Stay sensitive to my spirit's leading on where to invest. Pray for divine appointments and spirit-led opportunities to bless others. Generosity is not about having a lot to give, it's about giving from the heart, no matter how small the gift may seem. Remember the widow who gave her last two mites? 
I valued her offering more than all the rich people's extravagant contributions because she gave sacrificially from a place of love. Sowing is also an act of worship and obedience. It demonstrates your trust in my faithfulness to provide. It declares that your hope is not in earthly riches, but in me, your source. When you open your hands to give freely, you position yourself to receive freely from my hand. I will throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out blessings you won't have room enough to store. As you live a lifestyle of radical generosity, sowing into my kingdom and the lives of those around you, expect an abundant harvest, expect double for your trouble, expect me to show up and show off my goodness in your life. I'm able to do immeasurably more than all you can ask or imagine. So keep on sowing, my child. Keep on loving, serving, and giving. Let my spirit prompt you on where to plant. Walk in humble obedience, trusting me with the results. Rejoice in knowing an abundant harvest is coming. You are my beloved child, marvelously created. My living word resides in your mouth. I have given you authority to trample on demonic powers. Now, walk in step with me as I lead you into triumph. Remember, the battle belongs to me. With eternal love, amen.